Welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I'm James. This is my Maserati Ghibli SQ4. And this is the second video in the seven part series, 70,000 mile service on my Maserati Ghibli SQ4. Today we're going to be replacing the spark plugs. But I think we better change my clothes first, don't you think? Ah, that's better. Yep. So as I was saying, we're going to be changing the spark plugs on my Maserati Ghibli SQ4. And I've got the spark plugs right here. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to open the hood. There. You know what? I could snap my way through this whole spark plug change. A lot easier than actually doing it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay. Now to get that cover off. There we go. Something I want to point out before we begin. The cold pack wires here are numbered with a piece of tape on each wire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are also the cylinder numbers. The cold packs doesn't matter which cylinder they go in, but for me, I'm just gonna put it back in the same cylinder they came from. These are the tools you're gonna need for the job. You're gonna need a spark plug socket. This is the 14 millimeter spark plug socket. It's a thin walled spark plug socket. I got it on Amazon. You're gonna need a T30 Torx bit. A long extension is really good to have. A, a 3 8 drive ratchet. A 3 8 drive breaker bar is a good thing to have just in case. And a quarter inch drive ratchet. Unless of course you've got an adapter to for quarter inch to 3 8 You can use that too. Just want to make a note. You don't want to be putting, putting your tools here on this ledge because there's no ridge here to keep them from falling down in between the fender and the frame. If, you, if your tool falls down there or, or a screw or even one of those screws, you're SOL. It's gonna be hard to get those out of there. I've found that this thing here makes a really good tool tray. Put a towel here for the same reason, to prevent tools and the screws from dropping down inside here. They'll go straight down into the pan and you'll have to remove the pan to get them out if you need to retrieve your tool or a screw. I'm gonna go ahead and do cylinder number one at regular speed, then I'll do the others fast forward. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use without gloves because I'm very fumble fingers with gloves. So first we undo this, well, undo the screw this first. Pull this up. It comes off like that. Now what you do is you pull this yellow thing forward, up, and then you push down on this. And there's your little catch right there. Okay, now I'll go ahead and undo the torques here. Screw. This over here. And you just kind of pull up on the coil spring, or the coil and it pops right up. Put that there aside. And we get our socket. And I wanna I wanna show you how far down that is. There you can see how far down this spark plug is inside there. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's pull that spark plug out of there. Well, it wasn't that tight. OK. 
Okay, here's the reveal. How, what condition is spark plugs in? This is the first time I'm seeing it. No spark plug. <laughs> Oops. There it is. First time I'm seeing it. That doesn't look that bad. That gap doesn't look right though. I'll have to check that out. These spark plugs do not look bad at all. I'm going to get my bore scope and I'm going to take a look inside the cylinder and I'll show it to you guys. This is what the inside of my cylinder number one looks like. Doesn't look too bad. For 70,000 miles anyhow. You can still see the the rings, the, the, the piston there, sur surface of the piston. See some black build up right here. But the spark plug looked really good. Oh, and I'm using this uh, depth stick. Um, Bore scope. It's it's all it is is a camera attached to the end over there. I bought this on Amazon for twenty dollars. This is twenty some dollars. Gonna need a universal to get to the back one there. Spark plugs don't look bad at all. Cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six. And none of these spark plugs look bad at all. No carbon buildup. As a matter of fact, they look relatively new. These may have been done before I bought the car. But that's okay. So now I've got brand new ones again. Nothing but the best for my car. Those are OEM. Ordered from ScuderiaAutoParts.com. I'll put the link in the comments below. Gapping the new spark plugs. I've gapped three of them already. They do not come gapped from the, from the manufacturer. So these three haven't been gapped yet. I'll gap one, then I'll do the rest off camera. But they need to be gapped to the Manual says 0 0.6 millimeters. Millimeters now. Remember, that's important. Millimeters. If you do 0 0.6 inches, that's way too big. Millimeters is what we're looking at. And you can tell how that's pretty close. So I'll gap one on camera and The rest off camera. Hmm. This one's already pretty close. That's good. So I'll consider that one done. Am I sure I don't have the ones that have been gapped already? 
Oh, there's a gap. I'll try this one. Ah, this one needs to be gapped. No, no, it doesn't. That's in there fine. Well, I guess they all, they've all been gapped. These, these three over here needed to be gapped. One was way too close and the others weren't, weren't, uh, were a little off, a little too much. These, on the other hand, are really close. Well, this one, this one could be, uh, adjusted. Where's my adjuster? There it is. So what I had to do is I'm getting it as close as I can because I don't have 0 0.6. I'm doing um, 0 0.305 and 0 0.254. So that's um, 0 0.559, which is close enough. I can't get any closer even with these here. I don't have because the next smallest one is two and that brings us over. So the smallest one is two. So this is the closest I can get us with the tool that I have. And that's what the old one, the old ones, this fit in the old one's really tight too. Let me grab an old one and show you. So the old ones were gapped pretty much the same. Yeah, same thing. So if I just make sure that the, that the, uh, the new ones feel like this, I think we'll be good. So these, maybe a little bit tighter. I think I tighten it too much. Okay, this is how you gap it anyhow. Use this tool to adjust it. Okay, I'll gap the rest of these. I'll, I'll, I'll fix this offline. At least you got the idea. Okay, when inserting the plugs, you always want to start them by hand. I've gapped my plugs. And we're going to insert them into the hole. Now when working on these exotic cars, torquing is an important part of the job. I recommend you invest in a torque wrench. Uh, I've got two of them, one bigger, one big and one small one. This is my small one here. I got this at uh, Harbor Freight for about 20 bucks. This goes up to 80 foot pounds. The torque on the spark plugs according to the manual is 18 newton meters, which is about 13, um, foot pounds. Uh, Maserati Tech says to go to uh, a little higher. He can go out, I can go a little higher. I should go a little higher, he says. So I'm going to go to uh, 20 Newton meters, which is about 14.75 foot pounds. I'm just going to round it off to 15 foot pounds. So that's what this is set to, 15 foot pounds. And that's what I'm going to tuck my spark plugs to. One, two, three. That's about how tight they were when I took them off, too. They weren't very tight. This is cylinder number six. Cylinder number four or five. And here's cylinder number four. There. 
Cylinder number, all cylinders have, all the spark plugs have been torqued. Now, we can put the coils back on. Carry out functional test. I guess that means start it. Sure. Most people, I think, would uh, want to retire to do it. All that remains is to put the cover back on. After a quick quality assurance check to make sure I didn't leave any tools underneath the hood and everything's been put back together correctly, this job is complete. This concludes the second video in a seven part series, 70,000 mile service on my Maserati Ghibli SQ4. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified when the other videos in this series comes out. And until then. And if you own a Maserati, be sure to get your thrills every day. Uh...